on, on a slightly broader scale, or just you know, a little bit more long term, I was also trying to think about what distinguishes, uh, what distinguishes Ireland from the US and like, how, how we could improve things here. Um, and I think one, one pretty big thing that it would be great to see change is uh, just uh, education, and in particular, secondary education. Um, computers in schools right now is, uh, is, is pretty terrible. I mean, even though there's, uh, there's, there's a reasonable amount of it, I think, uh, it tends to be kind of vocational training in, in Word and Excel and all the rest. And I mean, Word and Excel are certainly useful skills to know, or I mean, it's, it's good to know how to use them, um, but it's, it's, it's not teaching you uh, computers themselves. It's just teaching you kind of specific applications. And so what I think we, we really need to do is introduce programming into schools. Programming is going to be the, well, it is and is, is going to be more so the, uh, the maths of the 21st century. And, and, and the sooner we, uh, we re realize that fact, the better. Uh, I think, I mean, programming is going to become the, the fourth or, you know, in those three R's. And uh, I mean, if you allow writing as one of the R's, you have to allow programming. Um, uh, Steve Jobs has this uh, gr great quote, uh, which I think kind of aptly describes, you know, the, the power of, you know, sort of, how computers can uh, extend the power of thought. And th that's basically that, uh, you know, uh, humans are quite slow as land animals go in terms, of, in terms of running. I mean, like, you know, we can be outrun by so many different creatures. Um, but a human on a bicycle uh, c can beat anything. And uh, so by, an by analogy, he says, uh, c computers are bicycles for the mind. And uh, I think this expresses it well. They, they, in, the, in the same way that the, the printing press increase the leverage of one individual person who could then go and instead of just you know, distributing a couple of dozen pamphlets could go and you know, influence a couple of thousand pe or tens of thousands of people. Um, computers increase the leverage of one individual person. Um, I, I don't know of anything that's kind of as, as simultaneously creative and, and yet constructivist and challenging and open-ended and all the rest. Uh, and I mean, one, one small example of this is uh, last Christmas while we were involved with all these uh, acquisition negotiations, I, I sort of needed something to, to keep my mind off things and stop myself going mad. Um, I'd, been, uh, I'd also been traveling a lot, and because of that, uh, been, been without access to the internet. And uh, when I was deprived of access to the internet, I didn't have access to Wikipedia, and <laughs> I realized how little I really knew. I mean, <laughs> with no Wikipedia there, I, 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 was, I, I was stuck. Uh, and so I decided to write this application uh, for my phone for, uh, that allowed me to store a complete copy of Wikipedia on it. And I mean, this, this, is, this is no huge technical achievement or anything. I mean, it's just taking uh, the, the copies that, you know, wiki, the, or the database dumps that Wikipedia provide and just putting it onto a phone and putting like a little reader on top of it. Um, but I mean, I enjoyed it and it was a fun project to work on for a couple of weeks. Uh, then in something like March of this year, uh, do, do you know the, the $100 laptop project? Yeah, no? So, so the $100 laptop basically is uh, uh, this, this project that came out of MIT. Um, where they, I mean, they, they want to they kind of bridge this, you know, digital divide and provide uh, inexpensive, robust laptops to developing countries. And so uh, one of the members of that organization cont contacted me in March and said they were interested in importing this Wikipedia application uh, to the OLPC, uh, which, is, which is their laptop. Um, and so they, they took the code I wrote, you know, uh, for my phone and ported it to this laptop. And so now, you know, the, the, the current batch of something like 100,000 laptops going to Peru, I think it is, now includes a, a Spanish version of this Wikipedia application so that those kids without internet access can uh, you know, have access to the entirety of the Spanish Wikipedia. And I mean, as I say again, you know, the, the creation of this Wikipedia application was, was no big accomplishment, but the, the, the kind of leverage that programming gave me in, in, in that instance, I think is uh, you know, quite indicative of, of the experience in general. And I can't think of many other things that allow you to, to influence so many people um, so, so straightforward, in such a straightforward manner. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I, I really think this is something we, that, that would be worth changing. Um, I, I was speaking at Sligo IT uh, last night, and uh, on the car on the way in, I was speaking to one of the lecturers, and he was saying how, you know, uh, I mean, we were talking about this thing of like how programming is so engaging and all the rest. Um, and he said that actually they're, they're kind of running into that at, at, at the moment, whereby, uh, a lot of the students are complaining that the, the labs close at 10 o'clock and they kind of they get really engrossed in some problem and they want to stay there. Um, and <laughs> that reminds me of a story from, from one of our investors, one of the guys from Y Combinator, who tells a story of how, you know, when he was in high school 
And it was kind of the days when you know there might be only uh, the, the, the the computer in their school might have been the only computer in a, a five mile radius. And so they uh, himself and his friends were really into programming it. Um, and uh, I know I think they eventually set it up so that they could access it remotely. And then one night it crashed. And so uh, obviously waiting until nine o'clock in the morning was not an option. So you know there's they. Uh, the, 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 there's some story whereby you know they, they climbed up onto the roof and found a panel on the roof they could open, like made made their way down into the bowels of the school and eventually found the server and restarted it. But <laughs> uh, again, I think this is a, this is not particularly unusual as programming goes. Um, the the other thing that I think would be worth changing in uh, education, and I mean this, this this comes from just me thinking back to I don't know experiences of the last year and a half or something, and you know, things were. Th Things that I was pretty bad at and uh, would be nice to have had, you know, a, a bit more of a head start on. Um, a big one is public speaking. I really think public speaking should be, uh, should be, I guess, reintroduced to schools. Uh, I mean, uh, th this was something that was painfully evident to me um, back over the past year or two years. I mean, it was something I really sucked at and uh, still kind of do. Um, and so I think it would be great if, uh, I think, the, the difference of, uh, you know, uh, a good public speaker makes is huge, and just like you know, the, the ability, ability to express yourself and uh, you know, just uh, display some sort of confidence in uh, you know, getting getting your ideas across, I think is really important and makes a big, big, big difference to people. Um, the the other, okay, so so I've kind of talked a little bit about you know, how Ireland should change or whatever, and all these sort of big grand notions. But uh, the the other question that I that I tend to get quite a bit is. Um, you know, just t tangibly, if, if, if someone is thinking of starting a company or just like thinks that they, they may be interested in it or just kind of wondering in general, uh, you know, what the whole process is like, uh, what you should do or who you should talk to or what you should read. Um, and th that question is, uh, is actually much simpler to answer. Um, there, there is one book um, called Founders at Work, uh, which is a, a collection of, I think it is, 30 interviews with founders of companies that went on to become extremely successful. But all the interviews uh, investigate the period, you know, the, the, like the, the, the genesis of the company back when no success was uh, in any way assured. Um, and, and for that reason, it's really powerful. I mean, you've stuff like, uh, uh, I know, an interview with Steve Wozniak, who's one of the founders of Apple. Um, and, and he's discussing the stage, you know, where uh, he was just, you know, building Apple computers, you know, in, in his bedroom, essentially. Um, and so to, to look at all these companies like you know Yahoo and Apple and all the rest at, at the stage where they're just operating out of garages is a uh, really interesting stuff and uh, I mean it's it's by far the best resource I know uh, in terms of I know uh, get, getting a better idea as to what this whole technology startup thing is about um, and with that I think I've exhausted everything I want to say but I'm more than happy to answer whatever questions people have. Thank you. I'd love to open um, up questions to the floor. If you don't mind waiting until you have the microphone in your hand before you ask the question so everybody can hear you, that would be great. Before I do, though, I just have a quick question for you with respect sure. to what you're up to at the moment. I mean, obviously, yep. you're very excited about new things all the time, new programs. What, what are you working on with the company at the moment in Vancouver? Um, so one of the big things we've got on right now is uh, this, this website, uh, perfume.com. Um, Perfumes, I love it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Very right. technology based. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, we we've now had to go through this, this this we've had to go through this you know extremely tough learning process of reading books about perfume and like <laughs> finding out how it all works. But um, yeah, so I mean, per perfume.com is basically uh, the Amazon.com of of perfumes, um, and so we launched a new version of that uh, earlier on this week, and so uh, given that almost all of it or the majority of its business takes place you know in the last couple of weeks before Christmas. Um, this is something that's uh, taken up a, a lot of our attention right now, and so it's a, it's, it's a very different thing to work on, but it's interesting. It, with, with regards to your company, does it really matter what the product is, or is it just about how to sell it best on the internet? Is that what the company is, <coughs> is um, concentrates on? You mean so like in, in general? Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. There's, there's definitely a lot of stuff that um, can, can be applied generally, and sort of techniques that will work 
almost no matter what the business. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, there, there is also a surprising amount of stuff that is like specific to each individual one. And I mean, like I say, we, we literally do have books about, about perfume, right? Um, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, no, th that, that part of it is actually pretty interesting. Excellent. Yeah. Okay.